Operation Platinum. Which one is that? Is that the just bring a bunch of platinum games over? Because I know I've heard of it. I know I read about it. And I'm all and I love platinum games. Nestor asks, "Do I think there's a chance Nintendo will release Fatal Frame outside of Japan?" Uh, yes. But I think that is going to depend heavily on if the movie ever comes out, because there's a movie in some level of production. If it actually comes out, Nintendo may localize the game. Otherwise, I think chances are fairly slim, unfortunately. Which bums me right the hell out, because I'd really like to play it. And, you know, if the console wasn't region locked, I could just, you know import it, but... Boy, I hope Nintendo just stops region locking with their next console. They're the only one who still does that. Well, two hours down, 22 to go. Doomed! You're doomed! There's a death curse. Probably a bird. I'm sure it's nothing. Uh, importing doesn't make much sense if you can't read or understand Japanese. True, but that depends on the game. Uh, probably one of the... Hang on. Oh, hello. Uh, one of the best examples is, um, you know, Fatal Frame is probably, uh, you're right, uh, from what I understand, very uh, story-heavy game, but stuff like Sin and Punishment was predominantly in English. You know, a, a lot of Japanese games, uh, as long as you can figure out where the menu options are, you're golden. Also, there there are a lot of gamers who can read and understand Japanese, at least basic Japanese. You know, enough to get by. Alright, so I've got two grenades. Lovely. Invest in caring, not killing. Lovely sentiment. Hi! I don't like your helmeted self. Okay, uh, lockpick minigame. You get the lockpick and you hold it. You basically you just move it back and forth until the controller rumbles and then you hold it in position until you gem that part of the lock. Later locks have three of those that you have to get through. What's in here? Firing speed upgrade! Woo! But it's true that not most gamers would not make use of importing. Uh, there, there's a cost to it, there's the language barrier, but it should at least be an option for those who want to use it. Says I. 
And who knows, it might encourage more people to uh, learn a new language. Sewer level. In a video game, we love these. Sewer levels in video games are always awesome. <laughs> yeah. You better have bullets on you, buddy. Nope. Gotta recharge my flashlight. Hang on. Okay. Once again, I have no map down here. How am I doing on ammo? I've got 13 handgun bullets and 18 in reserve. Alright. That's true, you actually can soft mod uh, systems to unregion lock them. There are risks. The, the more time goes by, the, the less the risk, and you do void your warranty. But, you know, I don't want to do that. I shouldn't have to soft mod my, my damn system just to play games, you know? I shouldn't have to buy a second Wii U just to have access to the entire system's library. I bought the Wii U. I should be able to play any game on it. Yeah, should. Wouldn't it be nice to... This is how my mom and sister play video games. <laughs> Hi! Yeah, I figured you were in there. You gonna get up? Alright. Shenmue Trilogy on the Wii U? They've gotta make a third game first, but yeah. That'd be cool. I hear somebody. Oh, I think I, I, I think he's coming this way. Hello. Sir, do you have bullets on you? No. And something else. Probably those rats. Mega Man Legends 3. Yeah, I've never played any of the Mega Man Legends games, but uh, yeah, it's a damn bummer what happened to. Well, you know, it's a damn bummer what happened to Mega Man, period. Which is, like, nothing. Nothing's happening with Mega Man. Mega Man in Super Smash Brothers is the most awesome thing to happen to Mega Man. Oh, that was a graphical glitch. Is that a LOD thing? Yeah. Yeah, look at the duffel bag. Level of detail load. <laughs> That's okay. We'll excuse that. I'm in poo water. Uh-oh. Can you get out of there? Well, you're not holding anything anyway, so... That's going to take the better part forever. I'm just going to turn my back on her and assume she can't get out of there. Uh-oh. Yep, right. Okay. Boo! Oh, 
There's a guy in there. Hello. Yep, level three on the handgun. Pausing to read the comments is probably going to get me killed. <laughs> I'm also sore at Capcom for uh, Resident Evil Revela Revelations. Yeah, Resident Evil Revelations 2 uh, being for everything but Wii U. Oh, that just frosts my cookies. We have to come out here later, so I don't think there's going to be much out here right now. Animal, animal, whoop, whoop, whoop. more animals. Okay. And a dead rat. Anything to eat? No, empty can. Now, we saw this earlier. Uh, this is the bar from the other side. We can remove that while we're out here. Fuzzy friends. And over here we have firing speed upgrade. All right. Now, of course, as I wade through the water with my backpack held over my head, I can't attack, so... Pretty vulnerable position to be in. But there's a junction box right over there, so... We at least now have the map for out here. Oh. Something's moving. Might just be a rat or a bird. And there's another, uh, see this one makes a bit more sense. You can't get through that. I guess you could, that's one of those C4, uh, barricades you need C4 for. Molotov cocktail. Uh, that makes a lot more sense as something you would need to blow up rather than something you could just easily step over or around. And this just takes us back to where we came in. So, worth it to come out here for the map so you don't have to do it later. And the uh, 
whatever upgrade that was. I wouldn't consider this a sequence break, it's just something you can do. take a food break here uh, eventually. Figure as soon as I uh, next hit the safe house, safe house, we'll take a uh, lunch break. Now I don't have now, I don't have the map for in here, either. And this is a bug in the game. This uh, There's an infected that I'm pointing at, and he's unscannable. Which is annoying, but... Eh. And there's some rats over there. Oh, a lot of rats. There's a junction box on the wall. So now we have a map. Two on top of each other? Or? That? That could have been bad. Anybody else want to pop up? Yeah, we got a candy bar. Would you eat a candy bar that you found on a, on a zombie corpse? And probably a very flat soda. And an uh, empty styrofoam carton of meat, I'm guessing. And other cake. Alright, how's my ammo? I've got full clip and nine in reserve. I'm doing okay. You'd eat it. <laughs> it's unopened, it's fine. <laughs> In a zombie apocalypse, beggars can't be choosers. That's very true. Well said. 
You're not clear on what a redead is? You mean in Zelda? Those zombie-like things that freeze you in place? It is an odd name, though. Redead? I mean, undead, you're like, oh, okay, I kind of get that, but redead. It's dead again. Wouldn't it just be lying on the. Once you kill a redead, then it's redead. If it were, had already been dead before, I should think. Uh. Okay, nothing over here. Yep, gotta hack the door. Give me a sec. I'll give you three secs. Thank you, Wayne. Oh, well done, John. Be careful. I won't have eyes on you down there. You're on your own. So that means you'll be quiet, right? Awesome. Buckingham Palace has seen better days. Uh, you're losing me and I'm losing power. I hope there aren't any zombies around because I have to plug my gamepad in. That would be a crap way to die. Die because you're busy plugging in your gamepad. Although, I, I suppose I could do that to pause. Yeah, that, that would have been smarter. Mm -hmm. Got lots of doors in here. Padlocked doors. Alright, let's see what's in here. Capacity upgrade, that's that's lovely. Always do well to hold more bullets. Anything over here. Fifteen bullets. Very nice. Oh, that's locked. Is this the padlocked door? Yeah. Alright. See, so picking the lock on the gamepad while keeping an eye on your surroundings. Really clever implementation of the uh, gamepad, I think. Petrifying face humping undead. <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue, but it is funny. Um, uh, too bad this game sold poorly. It didn't sell terrible. It sold uh, about three quarters of a million, uh, which really is not too bad for one, a launch game, two, a new IP, and three, a, a rather niche title. So, um, I think selling over 700,000 units is pretty damn good, all things considered. That would have been nice if it sold better, and I think it absolutely deserves to sell better. Uh, this guy's holding a juice, but I don't have any room to carry it. 
to recharge in the flashlight. Okay, that's good enough. And I'm not down on health, so I can't just chug it. Which is a good design decision. You you can if you don't have room to carry something, you can chug it if you're low on health. Always like design decisions like that. There are a few, uh, th this game does suffer from what I like to call, uh, launch-itis. Uh, just a few things that, um, you know, launch games suffer from. Not as much as you might think. That door way in the distance, uh, right in front of me needs a retinal scan. That's, that's end game though. We've got someone over here. Hello. What was I talking about? Oh, uh, for example, uh, we will, in the next um, little bit, uh, get a silenced handgun. Which is nice, because it doesn't make noise. Uh, the problem is, is the game will not let you drop your uh, regular handgun. It won't let you drop this. You always have to carry this with you. So if you want to use the silenced handgun, you have to... Uh, waste a space in your uh, uh, backpack that for an item that fires the same damn bullet. So the gun's completely redundant. Uh, I don't know if it was, like, overpowered. You know, having a silenced gun made it too much of an advantage, so they did that to uh, limit your inventory as a, a to compensate. But it's, it's one of those things that's just really annoying. Because to me, it makes the... Uh, the um, the silenced pistol pistol completely useless. Well, I heard somebody, and that's another one of those uh, C four areas right here. And that does not look very friendly to climb over, though. Uh, I'll cut that one some slack. Yeah, we've got uh, four metal racks. Couldn't possibly move those out of the way. <laughs> oh well. Bathroom. Locked. Occupied, perhaps. Spotless. Made a mess. Spotless. Made a mess. Uh, yeah, here's the, here's the um, silenced handgun. Right there on the floor. I can't pick it up because I don't have room for it, but it's pretty useless anyway. Oh well. Mm -hmm. I'll just uh, leave you to it. Unisex bathroom with the urinals out in the open? Yeah. Either that or she's uh, not supposed to be in here. Oh, it, no, no, that's that's a unisex bathroom. Be like, dum 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 dee doo. Oh, hi, Marge, how you doing? <laughs> Susan, you gotta try this urinal. You don't know what you're missing. Okay, so we can unlock this door. I think this is uh, the main room that we uh, entered in. Yeah, see that? That's that's the main room we came down those stairs.
something in this one. Five handgun bullets. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, turn off our light because we're about out of juice. Now we got one infected there, one there. That's some racks. I know there's more guys down there. There's one. So there's four down there. Let's see if we can spot any more. Bunch of metal containers with stuff. Now what I've done before is uh, tossed a uh, flare down there and then tossed a grenade, so what the heck, let's try it. Let me see if I can, yeah, this looks like a... Only two? That's a bummer. Ah, oh, come on! Ah. Oh, and now that. Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? Ah. That was a waste. Oh well. Yeah, it does feel like there should be raptors down there, you're right. <laughs> yeah, we can't go down there. Now that actually looks like something I wouldn't want to plant. Hey guys. Now, you can't actually chuck a Molotov, but they're in there pretty good, so. Your drawers look to be sagging a bit there, buddy.
All right, we got a new document type, the Queen's Letters. They're filthy. And we got a newspaper. And it's probably one of the developers and her kids. Press the intercom button? No, he. I think he's done talking to me. Goodness, that's foreboding in the dark. Missed my turn somewhere. No. Yeah, here we are. That's, that's what we were looking for. What do I think about what the guy whose name I can't pronounce said about Nintendo games? Uh, I'm, I'll, I'd butcher his name if I tried to pronounce it, but that's the head Ubisoft guy. Uh, what did he say? Okay, so we got gun, extra bullets, uh, two flares, two molotovs, and uh, actually two healing items. And let's uh, put one of those away. Alright, that's good. And I think we can upgrade some stuff. He said Nintendo gamers don't do mature games. Uh, find a link, because I'm... I, I roughly remember what you're referring to, but let's see. Uh, b b capacity. Well, we definitely want to up our capacity. So now our gun can hold, instead of 13, it can hold 16. And we've got two firing speeds, but the only gun, other gun we have is the rifle, and we'll probably get a better rifle eventually, so... And what the hell, I have two, so I'll upgrade the uh, rifle's firing speed. So, goes from 1.87 to 1.55. Alright. Playing Smash, huh? Well, I can't blame it. Because why not? All right, so. I am going to take a uh, break for lunch. Um, so let's say 15 minutes. I'll still be uh, on the chat. So, uh, you know, if you come up with the uh, interview where he said gamers don't like mature games. Oh, no, no, no. I, I think I remember what you're talking about. I said uh, they weren't going to release any more mature titles. Uh, for the Wii U um, after Watch Dogs, uh, which Ubisoft is um, 
doing everything in its power to make sure it sells like crap on the Wii U. Um, I'm sure some of the things it's doing were unavoidable results of just business stuff, but uh, yeah, it's still irritating. Um, yeah, I, I remember what you're talking about now. I'd have to go back and actually look at the, uh, the quote to give a better response, but um, that's a bummer. I, I really like Zombie U. I'm not really into the uh, Assassin's Creed games. Uh, I do like Splinter Cell, but I don't play games where I, I refuse to buy games where you get stuff, and the Splinter Cell uh, released on Blacklist, I think, was missing a mode. I think it was missing online co-op or uh, offline co-op, something. Uh, no, I, I didn't die. I'm, I'm still here, and uh, looks like the stream is still going, so that's good. Um, so, uh, anyway, I'll uh, still be in the chat, but uh, let's take 15 for lunch. So, talk to you folks in a bit.